Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my System Center Configuration Management Installation Requirements Video 2. I am going to install all prerequisites in this video that includes IIS role, roles, services and features for SCCM 2012 R2. You are also going to see schema extension and I will add a container system management in my ADSI edit console. So you are looking at dot and framework, remote differential compression, IIS, etc. So these all roles and features you are going to see here, I am going to install in this video. So as you see, I am also writing down in a word pad. So what I am going to do, and you are looking at my server names as well. This is my lms.com domain and domain host name is mcsa so this will be an active directory domain controller with lms.com and i'm going to log into my configuration manager server which is a member of lms.com and the host name is lmscfg the third one will be my SQL Server, SQL. I have installed already uh, Windows uh, 2012 R2 as an operating system and also SQL Server 2016 development edition on this server. So you have seen my all these three servers which are up and running. I will also have few clients uh, with Windows 10 operating system, Windows 8 and 8.1 and some Windows 7. So here I have this uh, lms.com server as a domain controller and I have my MCSA host name for this domain controller. So here I am showing you roles and features. What you see that I have installed and what I am going to install. So this is my IIS role on LMS CFG which is a member of domain controller and with that I am going to install a few more role uh, supported features and services. So let me pull out a list so you're going to take a look at that list as well while, uh, while I'm installing this all. You are looking at uh, the right side of screen, LMS CFG, which is a configuration manager server at number one. Number two, I have LMS SQL. And number three, I have mcsa.lms.com. So for this video, I'm using as a video two and these three servers with required roles and services and I'm installing now uh, prerequisites on this CFG server. So you can see that with IIS we have to install all of these related roles, uh, role and uh, whatever you say uh, it, role services. So just keep a note, you can pause the video like I did and you can look at this role and you can come back and install one by one these all roles and roles related services and features. So let's continue to uh, keep installing this uh, these uh, role services. So this is a bits, B-I-T-S, you can highlight whatever component you are installing and look at the right side for the description. So technically we have to install all related features of IIS or features services. So I am selecting one by one. So in other words, just keep in mind that you have uh, IIS related services, you have a .NET Framework 3.5, .NET Framework 4.50. Now you are looking at remote differential compression. 
then you install when you install iis role in, uh, with that you're gonna have under web services you will add http redirection and web dev publishing then under common http features you will install static content default document directory browsing http errors http redirections under application development you are going to add asp.net .net extensibility asp i sapi extensions and i sapi filters and under health and diagnostics you have to add http logging logging tools request monitor and tracing and under security you will add basic authentication windows authentication url authorization request filtering ip and domain restrictions and under performance you have to add static content compression under management tools you have to add iis management console iis management scripts and tools management services and at the end you will add iis6 management compatibilities iis6 metabase compatibility iis6 wmi compatibility iis6 scripting tools and iis6 management console so you are looking at now the same screen what i am talking about i'm just showing you once again what i have installed and what i am going to install here and i have read these all so now we're looking at tracing and we go scroll down and want to make sure that there is nothing which we have missing so under security we have to have this all uh, basic authentication windows authentication url authorization windows uh, yeah uh, url uh, request request filtering ip and domain restrictions so these few check boxes we have to complete it's going to be ip and domain restrictions uh, you're going to go down and you can check that box there we go so once you have checked all of these boxes and then you have to click next and once you install it's going to take a while but i'm not going to let you watch everything like that so i will pause the video and come back one once everything is completed so all you have to do now here just to make sure that under iis6 management we have uh, iis6 metabase compatibility and uh, also whatever uh, roles and features you install so they have associated roles uh, services on it so you have to click and install and uh, so we are making sure that we have now iis6 wmi compatibility scripting tools and management console so when we're going to check this all scripting scripting tools iis6 scripting tools and iis6 wmi compatibility and uh, it, it seems like these are a lot of stuff a lot of check boxes but these are the prerequisites what we have to complete before uh, we say that we are meeting with all compatibilities or all prerequisites so now i believe that we are good to go and as i said before you will see that you have uh, these all features or roles and its services you are installing it because you are preparing an sccm server so it will take a while actually but uh, i said that i don't want you to watch this all so i pause the video and once it was completed i turn back my video as you can see now i'm browsing and showing you what was done or what was completed so this is done so now you have a few more things to do so everything will be done completely so i am going to extend schema so what i have done so far uh, i 
took one server down, like one domain controller. So I have a network where I have a, a root domain, then we have a main domain, a tree root, then I have uh, child domains uh, in Asia, Europe, uh, and some other countries. So I took off a child domain from Japan. So what it will make actually, it will make my attempt uh, actually bad because if you have any domain which is offline and replication is not up to date, you will get error 8202 as you can see on the screen. So that's what happened that once you try to extend schema but there is a domain offline then you have a replication error so your REPL summary should show you that there is no issue with the replication so it was just for your attention so you have seen this one uh, I, I could hold on this one I, I will fix the replication but I will tell you the command on my command line or my PowerShell so how I fix that one I will run this one click again so this one click will extend the schema. So I'm showing you now from ADS I added. Under system, you have to create a new container. Object as a container, which will be a system management. So this is also a one of the prerequisites. Uh, to do this, you have to be a member of schema admin group in Active Directory. So anything you do with schema, you have to have a membership uh, as a schema admin group and you also have to have a membership in enterprise admin. So I have created this system management container under ADS I edit. This will add this container in Active Directory users and computers. But now I have to add under my root folder, under my system, my configuration manager server, which is LMS CFG. So you have to add here, click on the objects, computers, because that is a server, that is a computer. So I am adding, excuse me, LMS CFG at this point, and I'm going to permit full control. The second thing, I'm not going to close this. I will go and click on advanced under system. I have to click on edit and I will choose this object and all descendant objects option and give them full control. So now we are good to go from this point. So this was my second requirement. Now we can exit from ADS I edit. And now let me see that I have done this schema extension offline. I did replicate my all domains. I will go with that, show you that screen. So now you see you have to see this successfully extended the Active Directory schema, which I am seeing it. And this is my back end where I see on the top you see a replication, a REPL summary error. On the bottom you see that when I took uh, this offline, it was an error when I bring that server online and I ran actually uh, a rep admin space forward slash sync all space forward slash a capital e capital q d or a p e d q and that will actually uh, make another attempt to replicate so I'm putting small note on the left side of the screen also that I am going to do a lot of replication. This is my Asia domain, Asia and Japan. And that domain was offline. That's why uh, replication was failing. So in that case, you will get an error when you try to extend schema. This is my SQL Server 2016 Management Studio, the third server, which is a dedicated server. And this is not an SMS provider as well. I'm keeping my uh, configuration manager server as an SMS provider. So once you look at all these series of videos, you will get the whole picture. So this is my video number two, just to give you an overview of prerequisites. And SQL Server 2016. 
and this is a development edition 64 bits just for your review there is no database yet because I did not install SCCM yet once I have that ready and installed and automatically while I install I will connect to this SQL instance and automatically I will see here a database created then I will show you a lot of more things from my reporting's point of view. Again, I am back into my domain controller, which I am showing you my system container, which also has a system configuration. I am sorry, system management. So, system management is under my system container, which I have created under my ADSI edit. So, here uh, we are kind of ready for installation, but there are few more things left. I have to set up firewall rules and I have to also install uh, WSUS, Windows Software Update Services. And I also have to add an AD uh, kit, ADD or uh, Assessment and Deployment Toolkit for Windows 8.1. So you are looking at few things what uh, I'm going to install and you're gonna uh, look at this in my next coming video then you will see the whole so I will see you in my next video then uh, that will be video number three